Hello, my name is Joy Schwartz. I'm the owner of the Joyful Art Boutique, and welcome to our first first Thursday event. Where we're going to have an art opening with our new artist Jamie Newman and our featured artisan of the month, Amy Ragsdale. Why don't you come on in? This is our boutique. We have 25 artisans that I'm representing. Everything here is handmade by the artist, and all the artists are local. Most of the people live in the Cheltenham area, but some of the people are actually from New Jersey and the Mid-Atlantic. The philosophy of our shop is to sell local, sell handmade, and have everything green. We have organic clothing. Most of our artists are very conscious of how they make their jewelry and their art and making it as green as possible. And every month we're going to have a first Thursday event, kind of similar to the cities where they have first Friday. We're doing this with the other businesses in the East Elkins Park Business District. So every month we'll feature a painter of the month and an artisan of the month. And this month, we are happy to feature Jamie Newman. This is Jamie. Hello. So these are Jamie's paintings and collages on the wall. We're going to have a wonderful art opening for her tonight with wine and cheese. So we wanted to ask you a couple questions, Jamie. Sure. So Jamie, um, tell me a little bit about your background. Well, um, I'm from New Jersey. And I started at the Duke Christ School of Art in Plainfield, and then I moved to earn my bachelor's in fine arts from the School of Visual Arts in New York. In New York? Mm -hmm. With a concentration in, in illustration. Wow. And have since, you know, worked as a freelance artist and um, been continuously trying to improve my art. Well, I'm very impressed with your art. Thank you. Take a look at these two paintings that Jamie did. It's a start of a series. Am I right about that? Right, right. It's um, I, it's it's what my work has sort of moved to. It's it's a pr progression. Um, I'm working on a series of large portraits of historical figures. So who are these people? Um, on the left is Albert Einstein, and then on the right is Abraham Lincoln. Wow, I think they're very cool because they're so close up, and they're just like looking at you because I work here and I, I you know <laughs> becoming friends with them because they look at me every day <laughs> so you also do beautiful paintings right. of animals and here's yeah. one of her dogs um, yeah. so what are the rest of these pieces that you have here what are they the rest of these pieces are my collage illustrations and they are done with mostly painted paper and tracing paper and I, you know, I do each one of them based on either a story or a poem or even as simple as a thought or a feeling. That's awesome. Thank you. I really like uh, the way that you combine different art. In other words, you you have a painting, but you're also thinking of a story. Right. So you're doing two different things at once. Right. I guess that's the illustration you know, background right. coming into play, because everything has to have some sort of meaning. Right. So would you mind telling us a story behind maybe one of these collages? Sure. Let's see. All right. Lost in the Woods um, is just an illustration based on the feeling of being lost. Mm. It doesn't necessarily have to be about this little girl who's lost in the woods and can't find her way. It was just supposed to illustrate a simple meaning of feeling lost in the unknown. What I think is really dramatic about that collage is that you have this little girl in the corner, mm -hmm. and she's so tiny, and then you have these huge trees. It's kind of like how you feel when you're a little kid. Everything is so big and huge and immense. And, and also the fact that there's no leaves. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, it's a bit, you know empty and, and void and... Right, right. It's very interesting. Thank you. Well, thank you for talking to us, Jamie. Sure. I wish you good luck on your art opening. Thank you. And then I'd like you to meet our featured artisan of the month, Amy Ragsdale. Oh. Hi, Amy. Have a seat. Maybe you can oh. talk to us about your jewelry. 
So as I, to. as I said before, I represent 25 artisans, and Amy uh, lives in the neighborhood, right? That's right, Elkins Park. In Elkins Park. And can you tell us, how did you end up working with jewelry? Well, I moved to Booth Bay Harbor, Maine back in 1984, and there were two jobs, bartender or uh, work in a gallery. So I got the job in the gallery, having two little boys. I thought it was a smart move. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the season, they offered me the position to learn how to polish and solder, and I said I would love to do that. And slowly I just started coming up with my own design. So Tony Heil was the proprietor. He's a great sculptor, and he was very enthusiastic and encouraging. So that's how I started. So it seems like you work a lot in silver. Why do you love silver? Because it's not nearly as expensive as gold. Okay, I like that. Yeah, you can be a little, I can be, I feel a little more playful with it. It's mm -hmm. not uh, so um, uh, uh, scary if you start messing with it and it doesn't turn into what you want it to be. Because a lot of the times with my work, it's just unfolding and there's not as much, as much at risk if it unfolds in a way that you didn't want it to and it's silver. Uh, compared to the price of gold, especially right. recently. I mean, what I love about your work is that it's very sculptural, and it's also very happy and whimsical. Mm -hmm. um, and each is like one of a kind. You keep coming up with all these designs. That's I went on your website, you have so many different things. It's, I just love the different shapes, because I'm a painter and I like to draw, and they almost some of them look like drawings. They look almost like you were kind of doodling and you're coming up with some really interesting shapes. Am I right about that? You're about? right about that. I do not do a lot of sketching at all beforehand, mm -hmm. and I'll let my clients know that, that if they want something, give me a few parameters to work with then and colors and a price range, and then I'll make several pieces that might fit that, and then they can pick the one if they like. Mm. They can pick the one that they like. Very nice. Yep. Well, I love your pieces. I love the color in them. I'm a color person, but I also love the shapes and the way they're, like I said, they're so fun and joyous, um, in keeping with our theme of joyful art. Very um, cool. So I wish you luck. Thank and you. thank you for being our featured artist. I am honored to be here. And come back again for another uh, installment of What's Happening in Joyful Art Boutique. Bye. Imagining that I'm dancing with you I'm your pole and all you're wearing is your shoes You got soul, you know what to do To turn me on until I write a song about you